Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a sunflower. I'm going to take two fingers from the top and right underneath I'm going to draw a dot and from that dot I'm going to draw a wavy 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 circle all the way around back up connect to the dot. On the very top I'm going to draw a curve line up curve line down connect and right below it I'm going to draw it again curve line down, curve line up, connect. I come on the left side and I draw a curve line out, curve line in, connect. And on the right side I draw a curve line out, curve line in, connect. In between each space I'm going to draw curve line up, down, curve line up, down, jump over, Curve line up, down, connect. Curve line up, down, connect. Now below, same thing. Curve line out, in, connect. Curve line out, in, connect. Jump over here on the left. Curve line out, in, connect. Curve line out, in, connect. So I want my petals to be evenly spaced. I'm still not done. Now in between each one of these I draw a curve line up, down, connect, jump over, up, down, up, down, keep going all the way around in between each one of the sections. Curve line down, up, now on the left side, curve line down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, connect. Right from the bottom I'm going to draw just a straight line all the way down off the page, come back up, straight line down off the page. Right here in the center I draw a curve line up, down, connect. I draw a slightly curved line up, one, two, three slightly curved lines. Oh, and the most important part, I forgot. You're going to put little tiny dots on the inside of your wavy, wavy circle. Not a lot because you want to still see some space in between because we are going to color this. Okay, now let's see how we are going to color it. You're going to color your stem and your leaf dark green, or really any green that you have. You're going to color the center of your sunflower black. And you kind of want to do it lightly because you don't want to kill all those little dots for decorations you just made. And then each petal you're going to do yellow or yellow orange. I did mine yellow orange just so that you could see it a little bit stronger color on the screen. And you do each one of the petals. It might take a while but it's worth it. Okay, let's see what it looks like all colored in. Here's my sunflower all colored in, ready to be cut out and made into a bulletin board. You can always put your students' pictures right in the center. Okay, bye-bye.